Welcome back to the High School Sports Zone. Hard to believe we're down to the final two weeks of the season after this weekend's games in football, of course. And one guy who can't believe it, Byte Magazine publisher Matt Montesta. Good to see you again. How are you doing? We haven't had you in studio I know. in a long time. We're honored. Hey. <laughs> uh, so we're doing this interview with you yes. prior to the uh, regional st finals. But you look at the teams that are there. Any surprises? Well, not tremendous surprises. It's great to see these um, programs like North Shore. They were kind of banged up early, didn't start off that well. They, The cream of the crop rises. Katy, North Shore, these are all familiar names. Manville, Angleton. Great job by Cy Fair and Langham Creek. They moved down to that Division II. Man, that helped them out a bunch. And now they're playing each other for the right to go to the state Final Four. It's exciting for Houston right now because there's so many teams still, still, still out there that could punch their ticket. Yeah, so it's exciting. It's the most wonderful time of the year. We're getting to that point of the year when we pick our players of the year. The Touchdown Club of Houston did its private school players last week or this past week, and you had some great players there, Jalen Waddell uh, on offense, Ricky mm -hmm. Lester on defense. So uh, the UIL players of the year. Who are your top candidates as we, as we close in on the season? <laughs> well, three or, give me three or four. Okay, guys. it's a really – Wide Nobody, open, it? it was super wide open, right? You had Jack Rowe at Atascacita who ran and threw the ball. Quarterback had tons of yards. You had Craig Williams at um, Crosby, had a tremendous year, had almost 3,000 yards of rushing. But then you look at Katie's offensive line. Can you give a unit the MVP? <laughs> I don't think you can. But then also over in Ridgepoint, Chad Bailey did something that was tremendous this year. He was the MVP of the district. Amazing on defense. He's committed to Missouri. But then he flips to the other side of the field and runs the ball. He was their short yardage guy and also broke some long runs for them. So played on both sides of the, sides of the ball. Chad Bailey has got to sneak in there somewhere. For yeah. a mention. Do we have a Cinderella team of the year? Maybe a team that's not still in the playoffs, but really turned it around. Well, I'll tell you what. you got to say Kingwood just because of what they went through. It was a train wreck over there with the hurricane. And then you've got teams like South Houston making the playoffs. They've won one playoff game in 60 years of existence. They made their back-to-back -back playoff appearance. They lost to Kingwood. And then you got Brazosport. I think that was kind of exciting to see what Mike Farrell did. He left North Forest, goes to Brazosport. He's got the Midas touch. He brings them to the playoffs as well. Kudos to them. But, you know, there's a ton of great stories out there, not just the North Shores and Katie's of the world, that um, how you define winning is different at every school. All right. Well, good to see you. You're a winner Thank as far you. as we're concerned. Matt Montesta, Fight Magazine. We'll be back with our substantial, substantial plays of the night.